and welcome to Wrexham AFC on YouTube. The Dragons touched back down on British tarmac on Wednesday following their exploits in Portugal with a narrow defeat to a Portuguese Premier League side in Porto Menenzi. They face a different test this afternoon. AFC Telford, a familiar foe in both pre-season and in competitive competition in what will be a realistic test for Dragons boss Brian Hughes. Wrexham starting with Christian Dibble in goal. Whilst up front, we've got Hooper and McIntosh who start together for the first time. So Luke Young will get us underway this afternoon. Wrexham's fourth pre-season game of the summer. Back on British soil. And National League North opposition. Young plays it back to Barton who immediately chips it towards McIntosh. And the skipper for the first half in Mark Carrington heads away. Barton has some defending to do and does well as well. Wins a foul. Here's Theo Street. Cowans wants it on the right hand side. That's a clever ball for Dinanga. Have a shot at goal, and that is why strikers need pre season. Well, well wide. But a great ball over the top and a good chance for Telford. Is Young. Plays the safe option to Carrington. McIntosh, can he lose his man? Yes, he can. He's got Harris in the middle. Now here is Mark Harris, and it's a comfortable save in the end for Witcherly. McIntosh did well, though, turning his man. Beat him for pace. It wasn't a bad ball through to Mark Harris, just couldn't apply the finish. McIntosh battling with Street, shows good strength as well. Young ball over the top. Ross White has to deal with it and deals with it well. Kept in by Street. Young looking to push him out. Here's Thorne, great footwork from the youngster. Barton. That's an awkward ball, and that's excellent defending from Adam Barton. Put in a solid display in Portugal on Tuesday. Hooper, that's a great ball. He's got McIntosh off him. Finds Leighton McIntosh chance for potential goal here, and it is. Leighton McIntosh on the score sheet for Wrexham, his first for the Dragons, his first south of the Scottish border as well and great link up work between the two forwards JJ Hooper and Leighton McIntosh there's a calm finish on his left foot and Wrexham lead by one goal to nil Hooper back into the defender it comes to McIntosh Harris into Hooper and it's just wide Good link up play from Wrexham's front three. McIntosh getting onto it. Harris playing the ball in. Hooper just wide of the post for the finish. Daniels puts this one in. Dibble through a crowd has dropped it. And the supporters are happy, but they won't be in a second when they realise that it's been ruled out for a foul on the keeper. No complaints from Telford, really. They were all over it. Here's Darrell Knights into Williams. Nice ball out by Walker. Daniels puts it in. Dibbles there. Knights, good challenge from Luke Young. Deeney. Danger not clear just yet. But that was great goalkeeping from Christian Dibble. It was a vicious ball across the face of goal. Cowens, it's a poor cross. And it'll be a goal kick.
Ball in. Cowens was there at the back post and Dibble has to parry that ball out for a corner. Always awkward for goalkeepers, crosses like that. Not a bad ball in, it's attacked and headed over the bar by Sutton. Harris hassling the goalkeeper on the line, ball comes in, Lawler heads it towards goal, streak clears away but Lawler will get there, Sargent, ball in first time, Harris comes to Sargent who shoots at goal, it's a smart save from Wycherley. Well Matty Sargent through the youth ranks had a hell of a shot on him. Daniels, who switched over to the right-hand side for the moment. Sargent gets a foot in. That's half-time. Leighton McIntosh's goal the difference. It's AFC Telford nil. Wrexham won. So back on the way for the second half. One change for Wrexham. Mark Carrington coming off. He's replaced by James Jennings. As Wrexham lead by a goal to nil here at the new Buckshead Stadium. Young comes into Sargent. Barton spreads the ball to Harris. It's a positive start for Wrexham in that first half. Telford not too bad either, just couldn't unlock the Wrexham defence. Not a bad ball for Dinanga. That's a great bit of skill if he can get onto it. Dibble is beaten to the ball. Still active. Off the line by Lawler. That's the closest Telford have come this afternoon. Dibble committed himself to it. Was just beaten. In the end, Lawler was on the line. Luke Young is over the corner. And it comes. Hooper pushed to the ground. Sargent, that's a wonderful challenge. Now Walker can get forward for Telford. Into Dinga. Good footwork into the box it goes and taken out of the path of Dibble. Back out it goes. It's Daniels will shoot and it's just wide. So Young with the free kick. It's a good ball in as well and Hooper's there but the offside flag has been raised. So second discounted goal of this game. Telford have in the first half for a foul on Christian Dibble. And it goes the corner straight up for a header good save by Dibble powerful header a really good save from Christian Dibble to get low to it Knights away by McIntosh only as far as Ross White all the way back to the substitute keeper rolls it to Street, Hooper putting the pressure on, flicked on, Chanford for Denanga, Dibble brings him down, penalty to Telford. He looks around, Christian Dibble, he brings him down, and a chance for a level up. So Denanga on his left foot against Dibble, and he saves it! And it's cleared away. Well, Christian Devil is an absolute <laughs> masterclass in terms of saving penalties. Telford getting forward. Opportunity here to flood the box with white shirts. Is Ross White? Ball's crossed in. 
and drilled a goal and what a save by Christian Dibble. One handed did so well to react to it. Rutherford misses out, Walker getting forward now. Lawler's got some defending to do to get to the byline and Dibble manages to save. Telford will be asking himself just what have they got to do to get the pull past Christian Dibble this afternoon. Akil Wright. Now is Bobby Beaumont. Rutherford wants it. That's a wonderful ball from Beaumont to find Rutherford. Chips it in towards Oswell. Bobby Grant saved Oswell. Oh, save to Ken. Outstanding double save from the Telford keeper. Denies Rex in a second. Grant looked like he was about to score. Oswell won't believe they didn't score. Summerfield to deliver. Plenty of movement in the box, it's high, Sean Pearson's there at the back stick, heads it back across, Oswell's there, may have a second bite at the cherry, here's Sean Pearson, in towards Grant, it's in, Bobby Grant opens his pre-season account, it's a really good finish from the attacking midfielder, he's enjoyed his spell in the number 10 role for Wrexham, and he scored for the Dragons to give them a two goal lead that's full time at the new box head it's finished AFC Telford United nil Wrexham 2 Leighton McIntosh and Bobby Grant both getting their pre-season accounts off with a bang Wrexham with the victory in Shropship and they move on now to Wednesday and finish with a victory after landing back in the UK.